Hey all, Pioneer Field Agronomist Mike Gronsky up here in north central Wisconsin here to take talk about approach fungicide timing in soybeans to help prevent or reduce incidence of white mold in your field. Often this is something that is a hot topic in our area as white mold has been prevalent in both 2016 and 2017. And the question arises of things that we can do to help and approach has proven to be one of the most effective things in the marketplace to help aid in white mold prevention. The key to getting the most out of these approach applications though is getting your timing right. The field that we're standing in here today is PO9A53s that had been planted on the 8th of May and it's currently the 27th of June. We went ahead and, and staged these plants prior to shooting the video and as you'll see here from the plants I'm holding we're finding one flower on the main stem of these plants that designates this field of being at the R1 growth stage. This is going to be a relatively small window of opportunity to go ahead and get that first pass of approach applied to the soybeans. With R1 R2 only being a five day window and R2 being represented as having full flower on the main stem. From there we're going to have a 10 day window to get to that R3 stage which is designated as having a 3 16 inch pod and one of the four top inter most inner nodes of the plant itself. So at the end of the day we still only have about a 14 to 15 day window from R1 to R3 to get these timings and applications correct in our field. Um, while we're thinking about that, other things that I put into consideration that looking at potential risk for white mold include the field history. If you had a known history of white mold in the field, you run a higher risk versus a field that doesn't. Knowing the field tolerance of the variety that you planted, having a wider row spacing versus a narrow row spacing, having a leaner plant density versus being overpopulated, and then also how quick we are to canopy, as these are all factors that should be put into consideration when looking at the risk potential for having white mold. In addition to that, the other factor that we need to look at is the weather patterns that we've been experiencing. Currently we've been in a warmer, warmer pattern than what we're accustomed to this time of year, having a lot of temperatures in the upper 80s and even 90 some days. White mold's going to be favored when we're less than 86 degrees and we have these heavy, foggy, dewy type mornings where the f leaves stay wet for a good portion of the day. These are going to be some of our area, you know, particular times where we run a higher risk of essentially having white mold. The question always comes up is how do we get the timing right? I don't know if I want to make a one or two pass application. The tough part is, is that when you look at history, there's not a set way to know when it's going to come in. We look at 2016, we had white mold come in early across this area and we experienced a lot of this already at R1. In 2017 it came in a little bit later and R3 was the more critical timing. So with that being said, the best way to protect yield and essentially present, pre prevent the incidence of white mold in your field is to go ahead and do a two pass application at R1 and R3. For more information on approach fungicide or staging uh, soybean plants in your field, please reach out to your local Pioneer representative. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.